continue on from where I left off. It's not like instantaneously you get like instant viewers, instant everything. Um, it's something you gradually work towards. So I'm not mad. Don't get me wrong. I am not mad about the YouTube part. I'm mad about it changing because it kind of pushes other people out. But I question what's going to happen next because of this whole situation. Will they pull the rug out from under us all again? Will they say, oh, you know, now you're not allowed to be in it if you've even talked against us? And I think that's what's coming next. So just be careful, everybody what you're saying on your videos make sure that you are doing your due diligence with research um you know for those of us that actually do report news just make sure you do some extra reading if you don't know you know make allegedly the word of the day <laughs> um just make sure you cover yourself and protect yourself against people coming after you because i've seen a lot of youtubers be sued and all this other stuff but this girl's taking it too far. She went in there and killed, uh, she shot three people. Um, and then there was two reports. For one, one said that she killed herself, suicide. One said she was shot in the chest. So let me just talk about this conspiracy theory. Now one, if you were shot in the chest, how are you gonna pull the gun up to your body and then just shoot yourself again? I just don't believe it. I think that the first report was right that they killed her because she, she was shooting everybody. Why wouldn't they? And I think, uh, often the police will not say, okay, we shot her because she was, you know, threatening everyone's life. That's better than lying because now we got two different stories out. I wonder what's going to happen next because YouTube always goes into, um, what is they call it? Uh, what's the word for it? Um, I can't get the word for it. Panic mode, whatever the case is. You know, they, they go into that mode where they're like trying to save everything. And not to mention Facebook as well. You know, they're in trouble because of a breached letter that said a bowels needs necessary. Get more, you know, people or, you know, I'll have to look into that so I can, you know, tell you more about that. But there actually has been a data breach with information supposedly with Facebook. So you really got to be careful. And so you got to be careful what you share in public, like your information, um, you know, jobs, look it up. Um, you know, at my job that I do work during the day, they were like, oh, we looked you up on Facebook when we hired you. So don't worry. We, we checked you out before we even hired you. So just make sure you do your due diligence and make sure that you don't just put everything out there. You know, don't share your credit card through your through your google or anything like me personally when it asks me to save it i say no because i don't want people to take take that information also put on your defender if you have windows put on your security if you have an apple computer just make sure you protect yourself and your family otherwise you have a great rest of your day and um i just i just question what's gonna happen next to everybody that's on this platform that has to worry about them removing their channel like i use it to promote our brand as well as many other things that i'm doing but at the end of the day you don't need youtube no more than they need you i mean it's great to think that we can get millions of people watching us but in a sense she is right you know they 